Hey folks, and welcome. This is the month four update on the site that I'm building in partnership with Otis.Global. This is an age domain project that I did start in January. So again, this is the month four update. Now, for those of you who are hoping that I might be talking about the impact of the may the whatever um, stuff that is going on with Google right now, I will be putting that into the month five video. So you'll just have to wait. But if you are interested in hearing people talk or commiserate about the update, there is a new drawing board podcast that Niche Fari Chris and I uh, worked on this last week. The link is in the description. All right. So month four. What you see on the screen right now is the spreadsheet, the Google Sheet spreadsheet that I use to just track the, the page views, sessions, earnings, and costs. You'll see right now, as of now, the earnings are zero because I have not actually added ads to the site or any other affiliate links. And you will see that in March, I did finally break down and purchase some content. So the site is solidly in the hole now, $1,000. As for traffic, you will see that while it's not like skyrocketing to the moon, page views are increasing every single month, which is a great sign. All in all, I feel really positive about this site and just the numbers, it just looks really healthy. If you wanna see more screenshots, here they are. Right here, you can see the traffic for April of 2022. And here is the traffic from January to the end of April, just so you can see the progression. And right here is the traffic graph from Google Search Console. And this is the one I look at the most to get an idea of like, how do I really feel that the site is doing? And while the purple line is bouncing up and down, the fact that overall the purple line is going up is a sign that the site is going in the right direction. I'm getting to the point with this site where I'm really starting to feel like it's time to put more content on there, like a lot more. So in April, what I did was I actually put out a fairly large order, a one-on-one -on -one with a writer to get that content done, but that content did not come in in April. So all in all, April is a fairly minimal month as far as content goes. One of the reasons to do this was to try to just personally gather some information and experience working with age domains. A lot of people have the question like, is it truly better? Is it truly worth the investment? And I think I'm still working out the answer to that question. However, I have been able to compare the data for this site, which is in a very competitive niche, along with my fight site, my my other case study, the one of the many case studies I'm running here on YouTube, that is also in a very competitive niche. And I look back at month four with this site and month four on the fight site, and it is very clear to me that this particular site, that this case study, my Otis.Global case study, is in a better position than my very competitive niche site on a fresh domain was, at least at four months. So overall, I feel very positive about the use of this particular domain and how that is playing out as far as a competitive niche. And the primary areas that I noticed this are in indexing and ranking of the articles. While indexing was a pretty significant problem in month one, I'm not seeing indexing issues in month four. And I feel pretty confident that if I dump or put or upload a significant amount of content, the majority of it will index within a reasonable amount of time. Maybe not in a day, maybe not in an hour, but generally within a few weeks that it will all be up there. And with my other site, there was definitely no guarantee that that would happen. And a lot of the content sat on the site for months before it even popped in Cerberobot at all. So going forward for May, June, July, and beyond, the goal is just to get as much content up on the site as possible.